What up, dogs? It's your main fish on the... Wait. What up, fish? There's your dog... Hey guys, it's Nick A. Myers. I tried. You're, you're back with another beer peer review here at Craft on Tap Show. And today we're going to be talking about a brewery out of Delaware called Dogfish Head Brewing Company. Wow, it was a tongue twister just to get into it. But um, very exciting. They have some very exciting beers and we're going to try some things we haven't tried before from them. Um, you know, they're on the web too at dogfish.com. So you can check them out. And I just wanted to say, I hope everyone's having a great end of summer. I know school has started for many folks and many kids. I hope somehow we're figuring it out and everyone's doing well. Um, for the parents and the teachers and people who need a little, you know, light end of the day, well, we're going to bring you some ideas for your um, afternoon and evening relaxing uh, time. But we do always encourage you to relax, drink, and uh, process responsibly. That being said, are you checking us out on the web at uh, craftontapshow.com? Have you been here more than once? Have you liked everything? Have you thumbs up everything? Have you told your friends? Have you asked them to come? Because that's how we're going to grow, and that's how we help other places like Dogfish Head Brewery, Brewery or Brewing Company do their thing. So now, they're out of Delaware. They were bought out by Samuel Adams uh, about mm, a year ago, so they're now kind of working together. The brewery itself was founded by Sam and Mariah Calagione, and they're, I believe, still involved in the day-to-day -day as Samuel Adams basically just, you know, they got the money, honey. They got the money, sonny. So they do some crazy stuff. Now, we're going to start today off um, on the show with a dogfish head. It's a 120-minute IPA. Now, this is named for the fact that it, they, they basically brew it or steep it for 120 minutes. They have a 60-minute IPA. They have a 90-minute IPA. So they have a lot of minutes IPAs. Um, check out their website. Find out more about their brews. Um, so this first one here, um, not to mention that these are all somewhere in between 15 and 20% ABV. That's crazy. Um, so let's start off with this, first of all, this IPA, and we're going to see how this does. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing there. Um, I, for one, just love trying new things. So cheers out there, and again, hope everyone's having a beautiful day. All right, let's get a pour on this. Wow, that's beautiful. It's like maple brown, I mean, almost a honey color. Um, darker than, than I expected. Really, almost brown, like a dark peach plum almost. I uh, love it. I love the head here. It's got a little, just a thin pancake hatter, batter head there going on. So a lot of bubbles percolating there, but it's sticking around. So it's got some nice head retention. Holy mackerel, getting a lot, a lot of hops. Just right back in here. It's tangy. It's citrusy. It's floral. It's all over the place. I'm getting malt and I'm just basically getting a lot of interesting scents on the bouquet here. I mean, maybe maybe even some kind of like rose petal in there. I don't know. I'm really enjoying though the smell of this beer. It's still working its way around. Why don't we give it a try? It's very complex, so. Yes, that is very unique. I mean, it's right now at this point hitting me almost like a cider. And then the spice hits the side of my, my tongue there, a little bit of clove or something just spicy, maybe some anise. All I know is that this beer is absolutely full of character. Look at, look at all those characters. <laughs> oh God, did you, you should see what these characters are. There's so many characters in here. <laughs> you guys. Uh, but in all sincerity, uh, this is, I mean, it's a very robust beer. Again, sweet down here, and then it kind of punches you in the middle, and then it gets tangy. And then it gets a little bitter, and then it gets spicy. I mean, it definitely has a nice interesting succession the way that it moves through its its build wow dogfish head that's very it's very dogfish head of you of you um additionally folks we have content that come out every tuesday friday we're working on some new things we've got some great things in the bag here and then one day we will we will get to it for you With beers like this i really do like to cleanse the palate because they can just and this one's still kind of hanging out Yeah, but the 120 minute IPA, and I don't know, I'm I'm more preferable to like a 132 minute IPA, but you can't always get what you want, right? I mean, life's just not. Okay, uh, coming up next, and again, loving these awesome bottles. We have the Rason, the Raison d'Extra. The Raison d'Extra. I mean, try saying that five times fast. So this beer is actually made with brown sugar. It's gonna be made with lots of malt. And I hear raisins are, you know, have something to do with this here so let's check it out 
another beer, again, locating itself somewhere between 15 and 20% IPA. They don't list it on this one because they don't know. Because you just don't know. With the raisins, I mean, shh. Look at how pretty that is. A little darker than the last one. Absolutely, though, it's just got a lot of a lot of carbonation on the sides. And the carbonation in this one's just, I mean, the head's gonna kind of stick around, but it's already subsiding, but it's really pretty beer. Again, a nice brown, kind of almost like a plum color, but not as dark as the last one. I mean, excuse me, not as light as the last one. This is gonna be a little darker. Now on the nose, I'm, yes, I'm getting raisins right off the bat. There's a lot of sweetness, a lot of malt in here on the nose. Um, I mean, I'm getting some hop in there too. Mmm, but it smells good. So, I mean, I've never had a Rason d'Extra before. So, cheers, and let's try this one. That is, um, it's interesting. It gets a little sweeter as it hits the back of your throat, but it's clean. And now as it's sitting there building a little bit, I'm getting some more of that residual flavor of the brown sugar. It's thick in there, the malt. It tastes a little bready to me, you know, like, you know. I can, in my dreams, I'm seeing Brady Krueger, like, he's gonna, anyway, this, this is good, this is really good, though, this has sweetness up front and sweetness on the end that are different sweetnesses, so if that makes any sense to you, as it's moving across the palate, you're gonna kind of get some variations and variety. Wow, but yeah, this, this has a light flavoring, and it's actually, I don't know, it's, it's refreshing. It's more refreshing, and it, and it has a juicy finish like the last one. I mean, these aren't sweet beers, but they just, there's something about it that reminds me of Juicy, you know, like Biggie Small, you're like, Juicy. Anyway, I'm sorry. That, was, that, that one didn't land with most of our demographic. So we're going to move on to the last beer of the day, which I'm very excited about. It's a Worldwide Stout. Now, the cool thing about the uh, Worldwide Stout is now that they're working, now that Dogfish Head is working directly with Sam Adams, if you've ever heard of uh, Sam Adams, kind of a specialty beer they put out called Utopia, those are aged, in, those are basically beers that they age for over 25 years in some cases in these, you know, oak barrels. So now they're letting, they're letting the Dogfish Head folks take it, put their beer in there and see how it mixes and, and comes together. So there's this very interesting, <sighs> invigorated, smelling coffee, it's almost as good as drinking it. But there's this very interesting, uh, you know, coordination, coordinated effort there going on. This beer is actually listed at 17.3% ABV, so you know it's got a lot going on. You know, I'm always a fan of the dark beers, and you know what? Worldwide, I mean, this thing is worldwide. We gotta try it because you know, stouts are very stouty. Alrighty, folks, the worldwide stout. Wow, that is beautiful. That is obscure. It is like, it's like an art school, art major, like some New York school of art. You know, it's very dark. It's very brooding. It's got a little, it's got a little brood going on in there. Um, wow, on the nose, a little chocolate. I'm getting sherry. Yeah, not, not the, my friend sherry, but the, the alcohol sherry, which is an aperitif. I'm getting a little sherry. Some, some vanilla or canela, depending on your various zonas del mundo, right? Um, and I'm also really getting a lot of malt on this one too, but man, I love it. It smells great. Shall we? Shall we go into this together? Come on, let's take a sip. That is super sweet, super sweet up front. And then it kind of, it, it finishes, but then it comes back towards the middle third and back of the throat, and it does. I'm getting that oak barrel in there, and it's very interesting. It's woody. Um, I'm getting some... Woody from Toy Story, you know, Woody Harrelson in there. I can taste Woody. Um, but above and beyond all that, I mean, this is a very nice beer. It just has the slightest smokiness on top of that woodiness. And again, the sweetness comes quick. Right on the front. And then it just goes away. This is a world-class, worldwide stout. So thanks for joining the worldwide world of... Any folks, any who, people... Any, Guys, my name is Nick, and we appreciate you guys checking us out all the time and continuing to share our show with your friends. Big ups to Boulder Road Digital for handling the media side of stuff, and big ups to Furious Styles Entertainment for all the great music and backdrop. But without you, we're just a bunch of guys filming me drink beer, talking to myself, getting drunk. So help me validate my existence by sharing and liking and subscribing to the show. Go check out Dogfish Head, and we'll see you next time at our great and wonderful hub here on YouTube. 
Folks, I'm Nick. We'll see you soon. Sit, Doc. Sit. Good dog.